Section 5.1 of Young and Friedman's University Physics uh, begins to apply um, Newton's three laws. So the first section of Chapter 5 um, does some problems involving Newton's first law, which of course is uh, uh, that a body in motion wants to stay in motion and a body at rest wants to stay at rest. Uh, and so therefore all the forces cancel out if something is stationary. Uh, and so um, you can look at all the examples uh, many examples. This section basically consists of examples. Um, I thought I would do one problem uh, from the back of the book, an even problem, um, Young and Friedman's uh, Chapter 5's uh, Problem 10 uh, for, for Chapter 5. So here's the, here's the problem. It's a comment. You'll find it online. Um, it, it seems like these problems circulate around physics textbooks. Uh, but a 1,130-kilogram one car is held in place by a light cable on a very smooth frictionless ramp, so on a ramp. Uh, the cable makes an angle of 31 degrees above the surface of the ramp, and the ramp itself rises 25 degrees above the horizontal. So we are asked to draw a free body diagram, uh, basically take the, the, the car out of it and, and draw just the forces uh, with lines. Uh, find the tension in the cable, you know, that's holding the car in place, 31 degrees above the ramp, and then find the normal force on the car, which is the, the pushing back on the car from the, from the ramp itself. Okay, so here's my, uh, this is not a free body diagram. This is a diagram of the sort I draw uh, to help me see what's going on. So you can see uh, the ramp is 25 degrees over the, the horizontal, and then the tension, uh, the cable, uh, holding the car is 31 degrees above the ramp. Uh, now, technically, um, kilogram is not a force. Uh, but you can see that the force uh, of the weight of the car, which is going to be um, the mass times um, the gravity force, uh, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, is going to go straight down. Um, and so this is, this is the drawing that helps me more than, say, the free body diagram. So here's a free body diagram. You have the weight of the car, which is going straight down, uh, mass times the uh, force of gravity or acceler I'm sorry, not force of gravity, acceleration of, uh, due to gravity, um, 9.8 meters per second squared. You have the tension in the cable, 31 uh, degrees above, above the ramp. And then you have the normal force, N, which is pushing, which is the ground pushing back up on uh, the car. So all these, these, three, uh, these three forces are uh, holding uh, the car in place. So, um, the normal force, actually, uh, I, I found easier to solve first. So we have a for the force of the weight going down is going to be the, the mass, 1130 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. So the, the weight of the car is 11,074 newtons. By the way, I'm probably off a little on significant figures. Um, if I'd wanted to, to do it, most, most of this problem I've done um, five significant figures. Uh, whereas I only have 9.8 there, I probably should have, if I wanted to do five significant figures, I would have needed to, uh, to do the force of, of uh, or the acceleration of gravity out a little bit further. So um, I may be a little bit off in my significant figures here. Uh, but anyway, um, so uh, using a little geometry, we can see that if this is 25 degrees, then this angle here has to be 25 degrees too. So I break up the weight force into two components. Uh, that is the force pulling it back down the ramp and the force, uh, as it were, going in this direction. This is the opposite of the normal force. So if I can solve for this component of the weight, then I'm going to know what the normal uh, force is. Um, and the reason I know that this is 25 is because this is coming at a 90 degree angle here. So 25, 90 minus 25 is going to be 65. So if, if this is 65 uh, degrees here, uh, and uh, then uh, this has to be 25, because 65 plus 25 equals 90 um, in uh, this other uh, triangle, other right triangle that's made uh, there. Anyway, so um, uh, opposite, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse is the weight times the sine of 25 will give you this force, and then uh, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so the, the weight times the cosine of 25 will give me this, this component here. So basically, 
um, when I do that, I, I find that the, the force, maybe, maybe this should be negative, again, maybe both of these should be negative technically, uh, given what we're looking for, considering up positive and this way positive, uh, but just basically doing the components uh, minus the si without the signs, um, we get these uh, forces here. Well, this means that the normal force, which is going to be the, f the opposite, uh, the stabilizing to this force down, is going to be 10,036 newtons uh, going, well, going like this. So that's the normal force um, C. So finding this, uh, using this component of the drag force, as it were, um, is going to help me find the tension force. So if the, if the drag we just saw is pulling the car back down the hill, then the tension force has to be pulling equally in the opposite direction um, up, the, up the ramp. And so this is 31. So again, the cosine of an angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the cosine of this angle 31 is going to be the adjacent side, 4680.1, divided by what we're looking for, the tension force. And so I basically solve here. So I can switch these out, you know, basically multiply both sides by t, this t goes away, divide both sides by cosine of 31, this cosine 31 goes away, and I'm left with t equals 4680.1 newtons divided by cosine of 31. And when you play that out, it ends up 54, 59.9 newtons. Again, beware my significant figures. I've not been consistent throughout. Probably since I only use two significant figures with 9.8, there are only two significant figures at work um, in this problem. But there you have it, um, the solution to uh, problem 10 uh, in Chapter 5 of Young and Friedman's University Physics, playing out uh, the equilibrium of a body in motion tends to stay in motion, and body at rest wants to stay at rest.